Hello everyone and welcome to another video review. I'm Rodney Reynolds from FleetGameMan.com and today I'm looking at the Noctua NHD15 CPU air cooler. Now this is based on the award-winning NHD14, which was just outstanding. That cooler performed like nobody's business, one of the very best CPU air coolers on the planet. Just let me go over some of the features on this one though. Six heat pipe dual tower design, widened fin stack and extended heat pipe layout, high RAM compatibility in single fan mode. It comes with two NFA15 140 millimeter fans, PWM support and low noise adapter, excellent component cooling and the new secure firm two mounting system. And of course it's compatible with just about any socket that is on the planet. You've got your typical Noctua box color theme. Also lots of features about the product on it. Everything is labeled and packaged very neatly. You have your mounting system for the Intel sockets, AMD sockets, and accessories. I'll go over that in just a minute. Styrofoam here. And you have a second NFA15 PWM fan and this is the heatsink cardboard here wedged. Everything is packaged so well so it doesn't move around when it's transported. Included in the accessory box is a case badge, screwdriver, their quality NTH1 thermal compound, two low noise adapters, a Y cable, and by the way, these are all four pin. A couple of fan clips, four rubber mounts, and four fan screws. This cooler fits in just about any socket that's currently on the market. Plus, if it's not listed on their website, contact Noctua because they probably have a socket mounting system to fit your particular socket. Now, this is a very large CPU cooler. I will go through the dimensions first without the fan. It is 165 millimeters high. That will stay the same. The width without the fan is 150 millimeters and the depth is 135 millimeters. With the fan though, the width is 150 millimeters. The depth is 161 millimeters and the weight without the fan is 1000 grams, but with the fan it is 1300 and 20 grams. And of course, if you add another fan on the other side, it will even be wider. Now, most coolers will come with one tower. This one though comes with dual towers. As well, there are six heat pipes that come up into each of these towers. And by the way, these are all aluminum fins as well. The heat pipes are copper. Note the Noctua logo, which is stamped at the top of each of these towers. Now, compared to the NHD14, this one this fin stack has been widened from 140 to 150 millimeters and its heat sinks are now spaced further apart which allows for more uniform heat distribution over a larger surface area and this should translate into better performance. Thanks to its recessed lower fins this heat sink provides 64 millimeters of clearance for high-end memory modules you know the ones that have those very tall heat sinks on them but if you put a fan or fans on on the sides of the heatsink, well, you have about 32 millimeters of clearance. Have a closer look at all of the aluminum fins. Again, six copper heat pipes per tower. And all of these go down into a copper base plate. And this is extremely smooth, so it will make excellent contact between it and the CPU. Now let's go through the specifications for the 140 millimeter NFA15 PWM fans. They come with the new SSO2 bearing, which will pretty much last forever. The maximum rotation speed is 1,500 RPMs. The minimum rotation speed is 300 RPMs. And the maximum noise level is 24.6 decibels. But of course, it will vary it depends on which 
low noise adapter that you are using. The input power is 1.56 watts and the voltage is 12 volts. Now while this is a 140 millimeter fan, it comes with 120 millimeter mounting holes. There are seven fan blades and these fan blades have been designed to efficiently move the air but also be very, very quiet. It has four bumpers on each side that will cut down on vibrations because of course when you mount the fan, it will touch the heat sink like so. It comes with this sleeved lead and a four pin connector. To mount the fan on the side, it is really easy. Just use the two included clips. You will need to attach it like so. And then just snap it into place on both sides. And you can move the side fan up or down just a little bit. Now remember when installing the side fan or fans to keep the air moving in the same direction. I would also recommend that you have the case fan in the same direction so you move air through the heat sinks properly. Finally, let's have a listen to the fans. First at full speed. And now with the low noise adapter connected. So is it possible that this can be any better than the NHD14? Well, yes, it is. It performs better and the design features make it more compatible. So if you're in the market for the very best CPU air cooler, this is definitely it. Just make sure it's going to fit on your particular motherboard and in your case. If it does, you are good to go. But why would you go with a CPU air cooler and not an ALC or advanced liquid cooler? Because they're probably around the same price and an ALC might offer you just a little bit better performance. Well, some still prefer CPU air coolers because they are reliable. You install them and forget them. There is really nothing that can go wrong with this except maybe for a fan fail. ALCs, the newer ones, you don't have to worry about a whole lot, but still there's the concern that it will possibly leak. This cooler is just outstanding. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.